This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Now we're ready to test the My World app to see if it works with the user preferences set within inside it in the flip side view, which is now called the settings view. And also, as you recall, we added the preferences so that they would appear in the settings app. So we will also be checking that as well. Now that we have our flip side view interface set the way we want it, and we've added the pinch gesture as well to main view controller right here, as well as the IB action for what to do with the pinch, which is right here, both in main view controller.m, I think we're ready to test it. Let's go ahead and run the app, which also builds it. As you can see, there are no errors. The successful build, the app is launched. And here is our piece on Earth. Now let's check for a moment what happens when we click the Light Info button. And let's hold our breath. There it is. Well, what do you know? We have a settings. We have its speed set to 10 because that's the default, the way we set it up. We have the initial text, Peace on Earth. We can drag the speed slider to make it faster. Let's make it really fast. Click Done and see what happens. And our animation is moving quite a lot faster. Very good. Let's go back to the settings, drag it back down to 10, and select the text. Now you notice it's really not saying 10 here. We would have to click Done and go back to that speed. And then we go back to flip side view and it'll say 10. Very good. Now, we want to add, let's say, the word now. We could obviously go ahead and type anything we want here. But as you can see, the text field is working. The keyboard appeared. We're using our own computer keyboard here because we're running a simulator. But if we wanted to, we can simply use these keys and type out now and even use an exclamation point. And we're done. We click Next. Now we have new text. We have a speed. We'll slow it down a little bit. And we'll click Done. And there's our animation. Also, our ad works too, as you noticed. Notice that the text is smaller. And that's because we are fitting the text within the field. So it automatically reduced the font size to fit. Now let's test our pinch gesture, which is actually an unpinch, to see if our unpinch can change to the flip side view. So as you recall, in order to do a pinch or an unpinch in the simulator, you hold down the option key on your keyboard and the two dots that appear show where your fingers are. So if you were going to do an unpinch, you would be dragging outward. And there it is. The pinch gesture worked. We are back in the settings view. So let's click that done button again. And here we are back in our app. And everything's working perfectly. Well, now there's one more thing we need to check. We need to check if the settings can be changed in the settings app. So in order to do that, we're going to quit this app by pressing the home button down here in the simulator. Now, just for your benefit, you should know that an app doesn't actually quit completely. It's not terminated, even in the simulator. It is running in the background, and you can find that by double-clicking here, and there it is. Let me go right back to where we were with the text that we had added, since we had added the word now, and with the flip side view the way it should be. Only we're going to up it back to 10. Click Done. Click the I. Well, nine's close enough. Now we'll click Done. And we'll close the app again by single clicking. So our My World app is sitting here, and we want to see if we can find the Settings app. In order to do that, actually, we have to swipe this way. And we see here's the Settings app. So we tap the Settings app, which means we click on it. And here's our Settings app. And lo and behold, we have a section called My World. We click on that, and there it is. Our phrase, Peace on Earth Now, and our speed. Let's move the speed up a little. Let's change Peace on Earth Now. And we'll go backwards here. We'll use the keyboard. And we'll say, Today. Now, we don't have to use all caps. I just think it looks better on the screen in the animation to use all caps. You can just type anything we want here. So then we'll add an exclamation point as well. 
So we have a longer phrase, peace on earth today, and we've sped it up a little bit here. So let's close My World's section of settings, and then click the home button again to close settings. Now let's drag again and go back to My World and open it up. And sure enough, it's moving faster. We have the word today and an exclamation point. It worked. Our settings app was able to change the settings for our My World app. And if we click I here, we see that those new settings have been recorded here as well. And we close done. And if we hold down option key and unpinch, we go right to the flip side view. And there we have it. A complete sample app that actually does something. However, we're not done yet. We're going to want to do a few more things. Although this version of the app is available as a work file, we're going to open it up and add another view. But first, we're going to close the app by clicking the home button. And we're going to reset the simulator. And this is what we want to do. For a fast reset of all apps and all data in the simulator, including the settings data we just set, we want to go up to iOS Simulator and choose Reset Content and Settings and click this Reset button. Now back in our Xcode project, My World is still running. So we want to click the Stop button. And there our threads have disappeared again. Our debugger is open, but there are no bugs. However, if you'll notice, if we open this up a little bit and console output is showing us the UI pinch gesture, the end log statement we had put in to display where the touches were occurring. If you go back to the project navigator here, and we can see actually right above it here in main view controller, our handle pinch gesture where the NS log right here is displaying that information in the console. And that's a nifty way to figure out what's going on in your app, especially for debugging purposes. Well, we're gonna get more into debugging later, but for now you can close the debugging window by clicking this button right here.